Hey everyone, it's Ken here from Northern Viking Explorer. We are here at Lover's Beach and Divorce Beach in beautiful Cabo San Lucas. We paid $15 at the port for this excursion just from the vendors at the port. They took us on a little tour, about 45 minutes, and dropped us off at Lover's Beach. They're coming back to pick us up. I wanna share what this excursion is like so you can take it for yourself. This is the second time we've done this. It's amazing. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. Now we're looking to do a private tour. We're looking to get on a glass bottom boat and go out to the arch as well as Land's End and then get dropped off at Lover's Beach. There's plenty of people selling private tours when you come off the dock here. And we talked to them. We paid $15 each for three of us. And some people we heard paid a little bit more. Some people paid a little bit less. Now, one thing to note that you do need to also pay another dollar to get onto the dock before you get on your excursion. We're gonna follow this gentleman over to our boat, which is called Yoshi. Off to Lover's Beach. Lover's Beach. And a quick tour. For three. Pay the three dollars ah, okay. here? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. A sea lion hanging out by the yachts. Not a bad place to sunbathe. We're sailing! <laughs> Our tour guide and captain is going to start out by giving us a tour before he drops us off at Lover's Beach. We're going to see places such as Pelican Beach, Lover's Beach, the Cabo Arch, Land's End, and the infamous Divorce Beach. Pulling up on Pelican Beach here, you can even say hi to the pelicans sitting out on the rock. You've got Pelican Rock out there, and this is a popular beach for snorkeling. A lot of people get dropped off here to do that and it tends to be a fair bit calmer here than Lover's Beach. We can see fish in the bottom of our boat in the glass bottom. Let's take a closer look under the water. Lots of fish here. This is our first peek at Lover's Beach. When we are done the tour, we'll come back here for a swim. And across the sand and in the crack there, if you go through there, that's where you get to the infamous Divorce Beach. There's so many different rock formations to look at here coming out of the sea. Pretty neat. The famous Scooby-Doo rock. Can you see them? The Cabo Arch. And all the sea lions hanging out here. And lands in the most southern tip of the Baja California Peninsula. There's treasure in there. That'd be cool to go in there. And Divorce Beach. You do not want to swim at Divorce Beach. It is known for its strong currents and rip tides, so do not swim there. Definitely don't swim there. Our captain is taking us back to Lover's Beach. He's gonna drop us off and come pick us up a little bit later. That was an adventure getting off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wet just above my knees, so 
it was quite wavy getting off. We kind of had to jump in and and uh, walk ashore, but wow, it's sandy and beautiful. And guess what? There's only four other people here this morning. So. So we were on the boat Yoshi. I believe our captain was Pancho. Pancho? Something like that. Yeah. Well, he's gonna come back and get us at 9:30. It's the time we agreed upon. So give us directions on where we can swim and where to stay away. So we're excited. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's gorgeous here. Beautiful Lovers Beach. Woo! And Divorce Beach is right through that crack there. We're gonna swim here at Lovers Beach. Don't go swim over there, it's dangerous. So here at Lovers Beach, you should know there's no facilities. There's no washrooms, change rooms, no lifeguards. You're really on your own out here. So maybe think ahead, come in your swimsuit, but it's, it's amazing here. The waves are crazy huge. They are. Wow, this is, so this is Divorce Beach here. You don't wanna go swimming here. The waves are massive. We'll go swim over at Lover's Beach where it's a little bit calmer. Divorce Beach is the Pacific Ocean, whereas Lover's Beach is the Sea of Cortez, and this is where the two oceans meet. Sea of Cortez. Pacific Ocean. The rock formations are magnificent here and there's lots of little nooks and crannies for you to explore and look through. Really neat, but I think it's time for us to go swimming over at the Lover's Beach side. Three foot waves turned into a 10 foot wave. It's all good. We're all safe. Another gorgeous day at Lover's Beach and we're just waiting for Yoshi, our boat, to come pick us up. We had an awesome time swimming here and enjoying the sun. Lover's Beach. Some locals did show up and they're helping people get on and off of the boats. Now they do work for tips and they are needed. So I definitely recommend bringing a few extra dollars to help support them. The waves can get quite large here at Lover's Beach. So be very careful getting on and off the boats. You don't want to scratch up your legs. We've heard of this happening to a few people. When you make plans with the captain of your ship of when you want to leave Lover's Beach, make sure you leave lots of time because they run on Mexican time here. So everything's a little relaxed and you're never quite sure when they're going to get back to you. So don't cut it close at all. Yeah. And Yoshi is here to pick us up. So we'll jump back on our boat. Thank you. Thank you. Whoa. No. Hi. It was great. Thank you. And 
one quick stop at Pelican Beach to pick up a couple of snorkelers. You can see the waves are much smaller here, which makes it significantly easier to get in and out of the boat. They definitely are. And a quick boat ride through the marina and to the dock to end our excursion. So I hope you enjoyed joining us on this little Lover's Beach tour excursion that we did here in Cabo San Lucas. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also remember to subscribe to Northern Viking Explorer. We have tons of videos coming up that we would love to share with you. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care.